$220 silver. Yes, you heard that correct. Are we heading into a Goldilocks environment for silver? But first, silver stackers have been misbehaving. We've got a bone to pick with you. We're going to talk about that. Sell, sell, sell. And bonus, how to get 10 free ounces of silver just by making one smart decision. Now, we're going to cover all of this with our good friend, channel friend, the one and only Coin Shop Chris. Welcome back to Ron's Basement. How you doing, Ron? It's been a great, it's been a crazy week. Well, you asked me how I was doing. I'm doing good. I can't complain. How's Chris? I'm doing wonderful. Well, let's talk about not you, not me, but the most important person with us right now, the viewer, right? How are they doing? Let's ask our viewers. How are you feeling after last week? You know, gold went like on a $140 round trip, a new all-time high, closing the week right above $2,000. Let's remember, we still have $2,000 gold. How do you feel about that, Chris? Well, Ron, it was um, crazy to say the least. Um, not surprised Lucy pulled the football away from Charlie Brown again, but... um um last week you know we did open the shop for um a couple of hours late at night with all this craziness we got a bunch of emails and and you know we people want to buy we sold phone orders so um, yeah. then it came dropping back down but we've got a we've got a bone to pick and we're going to get to this 220 dollars silver bold prediction that you made chris or did i make that i don't remember maybe i that made it you, nonetheless you sunshine <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get to that, the Goldilocks environment. But let's talk about what's going on in the silver market right now, because I'm hearing from everybody else, and I will, maybe you'll argue with me on this, but what I'm hearing is we've got premiums near a low. We've got silver stackers selling their silver. What's going on? Are you seeing that out there? People are selling. Premiums are still high, but way down from where they were. What's going on? Why are people selling their silver? Uh, people are selling their silver either A, for Christmas wrong, um, B, they need extra cash in the house. They lost their jobs. Um, you know, it, it, it's sad to see this happening, Ron. This is the worst time to be selling anything. You know, I've said this on your show, Ron, time after time after time. If you don't need to sell, hang on to it. Don't panic. You have not lost a dime if you're not if, if it's in your safe or wherever you store it. You have not lost anything. That's Just right. Hang so, on we, to it. so we need to ask this person who's joining us right now, are you selling silver? Now, I used to say, oh, the retail investment side is just a sliver of a sliver. I have to admit live right now that, yes, once again, I am wrong. Let me read this to you because I used to say, well, the, 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 the retail investment side is just so small. We think it matters because we're involved in it. But the reality is it doesn't matter so much. But let me read this to you because I was surprised by this. According to the World Silver Survey in 2023, silver bar and coin demand worldwide spiked by 22% in 2022 that's easy to remember 22 percent in 2022 spiked to a new high of 333 million ounces that was way higher than i thought in the united states physical silver investment in 2022 climbed four percent to 134 million ounces compared to 129 in 2021. However, the sharpest percentage in, uh, investment increase in 2022 came from our good friends in India with a 188% jump to almost 80 million ounces from only 27 million ounces in 2021. Chris, did you sell all that silver last year? What's going on here? Absolutely not. But we have to, we, we have, no, I didn't sell that much, Ron. But, um, you know, we have to remember, physical is, is a different market than paper. You know, physical does not drive the price we see on our computer screens every single day. You know, if you want paper, go buy paper. I whoa, rather have whoa. the physical. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about, paper, Chris? What do you, what do you mean? 
the twenty three fifty whatever we're seeing right now on the the paper junk. You mean the unicorn, unicorn fart dust? dust? Yeah, <laughs> like the Comex and the LBMA, where they yeah, the, the where, clowns where they, at the Comex. Yeah, where they, where the they climax. sell? That's what I call the, them. The climax. All right, all right, all right. Where they sell two hundred ounces of silver. For each one ounce they actually have in their vault, that that place, that is that what you mean by paper, electronic silver, Chris? Exactly, Ron. Exactly. Well, eventually I mean, that'll you, that'll that'll come. Can you imagine break. having contracts for having 200, 200 paper contracts or for every ounce of silver on this, this? That's a scheme. I'd rather have you the know, physical. You know what I want to do? I want to sell my house that way, right? Like, hey, I can sell the house not once, not twice, but 200 times over. And then I'll take all the money and you and I will run off to Canada or something like that. Well, next amen. week, next week is a big week, Chris, an earth shattering, moving week. Well, we kind of had that this week, but next week has the potential to be a huge, huge week for the silver and gold market. We're going to hear from one of your best friends, one of your favorite people next week, Gom uh, not Gomer Pyle, Jerome Powell <laughs> himself from the Federal Reserve. Any thoughts on what's going to happen next week? Because that could move the silver and gold market. Maybe not what he does, because everybody thinks. Now, we always have to remember. Let me go back. Let's remind this person. we got a friend here, a basement dweller with us, who we do appreciate you being with us today. And we appreciate you giving this a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel because we're trying to get to 31,000 subscribers. That's a big goal that Coin Shop Chris and I have. But let's go back to, I keep wanting to say Gomer Powell, Jerome Powell at the Federal Reserve. Let's watch what he does, not what he says, okay? What has he done for the last two meetings? Nothing. What is he likely going to do this time? Nothing. What's he going to say? A bunch of BS. Chris, do you have any commentary on what we could expect from Jerome Powell in the United States Federal Reserve this Wednesday or Thursday? I'm not sure which day it'll be, but we will be hearing from them. Ron, you took the words right out of my mouth. You're absolutely right. He's going to do nothing. A bunch of yap, 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 yap he's going to do. The guy, you know, you know, you hear behind the scenes, he's getting very, let's call it upset, okay, for yeah. the video. And, um, the guy is under so much pressure, he don't know where to go next. He's he, he's in the box. He can't get himself out. And it, it's time to feed him bread and water. So, I mean, just throw a slice <laughs> of bread in there, give him a, a bottle of water, and the guy will be good. You okay. Know? Okay. Now, I didn't I couldn't understand the last thing you said. Did you did you toss a ding dong in your mouth, Chris? No, I said toss a piece of bread in a in a bottle of oh, water. Okay. Well, we'll give him some ding dongs. Next week also. Big market moving news for silver and gold. And don't forget, guys, we're going to talk about this Goldilocks environment for silver. $220 silver, like Coin Shop Chris said himself, and how you can get yourself 10 free ounces of silver. But next week, we'll also hear about inflation data. That's big news as well, huh, Chris? Inflation probably probably be lower than expected. I'm, I'm going to say this time. Um you know, we got Christmas coming around the corner. We got the holidays coming around. Um, I'm not really seeing, Ron, have you seen a lot of good deals out there? Because I sure have it. You know, very few in between. Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting dynamic going on right now. I mean, actually, let's see here. Low inflation, paradoxically, would be good for the silver and gold price because that would sh indicate that uh, I want keep one. I'm going to say it one last time. Jerome, not Gomer Powell. Jerome Powell is winning the fight on inflation, right? So that means you know they're keeping, they're winning. They're not going to have to be as hawkish going forward. Uh, it's a paradox, right? Because typically gold and silver do well and help protect us from inflation. But while we're in this little screwy world that we're living in right now, actually a low inflation number would be good for the price of silver and gold. And I'm going to be an optimist. I think we will get because the price of gas has come down. And I'm hearing the CEO of Walmart himself talking about the potential for deflationary forces later in the month. And I'm just going to go there now because that's like one of the most exciting things that silver and gold investors could hope for is deflation. Deflation's a double win 
for anyone who's invested in silver and gold because number one, prices are coming down at the store. But number two, if we get the big D word, deflation, the Fed, you think they're freaking now. They triple, quadruple freak. They don't like anything like they don't like deflation. What I was trying to say is if we get deflation, the Fred, the Fed is going to freak and print money like you've never seen before. And that's going to, and that's going to be um, a slingshot for silver and gold, John. Yes. You know, there'll be a slingshot. And, you know, I mean, you know, I'm not seeing a lot of shortages out there right now. When I go shopping on, people's carts are not full like they used to be. They're like half full. You know, they're buying what they need. You know, it, it's funny you say that because I went to Aldi last Saturday in a very shop, a very busy shopping district here in St. Louis. I call it the world's biggest strip mall. It's the Gumbo Flats down in uh, the Chesterfield Valley. It's got every store known to man. They built it like 10 years ago. Anyway, this place is always packed. I went into this Aldi to do some shopping. And I one of my observations was, man, the shelves seem like stocked up like I haven't seen in years. Like, you know, we were used to going into stores and there not being that much inventory. But I think you're right. I think I think we could see some deflationary. And I'm telling you, man, deflation is like um, rocket fuel on steroids uh, with a Red Bull energy drink for the price of silver and gold. Chris, Absolutely. You know, absolutely. And, you know, I went into Walmart the other day. I was looking at the kitchen section and it looks pretty full right now. And, you know, I, I've I've always shopped this way wrong for the next year. Get your Christmas decorations, your wrapping paper for next year after Christmas this year. And that that's way a, you save a ton more money. Wow, that's a great shopping tip, Chris. Um, and then you were you were telling me earlier in the week, too, when you were at Walmart, um, what you saw in the toy section. Uh, with all the Barbie stuff, I know you sent me a couple of pictures of that. What how, did you oh see? Was, God, was the Barbie section go. stocked up, or did you clear that out as well? Ron, you you but you have to be quiet about that. That was actually for your Christmas present. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get the two hundred and twenty dollars <laughs> silver, but first we're quickly going to go through we're going to give you a little bonus here chris chris already gave you a great shopping tip buy your christmas decorations after christmas but do you want to learn how you can get 10 free ounces essentially 10 free ounces of silver chris you did a little digging last night what did you discover when it comes to 100 ounce inglehart silver bars inglehart yes ron um this i know this is not for everybody these are expensive um, they're all coming from a secondary market because they're more uh, vintage silver bars. So when you're buying these, everybody, beware of they might have some scratch chips in them, you know, because they are from the 80s. Um, J.M. Bowen, add them for $2,734 even. At Max, add them for $2,668 even. S.D. Bowen. Had them for two thousand five seventeen twenty five. Hero Bowen had them for two thousand four sixty two fifty six. And our sponsor Pimbacks did it again, Ron. They came in at two thousand four hundred twelve dollars and ten cents. So if you wow. take the savings, you take JN's Bowen price minus Pimbacks price, three hundred twenty one dollars and ninety cents price difference. Hello. Whoa, 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 whoa here, Coin Shop Chris. Are you telling me that from the highest price, from the big online, you compare all the big online name brand bullion dealers, that from the highest price to Pimbex's price, there was a over $300 difference? $321.90 on. And let's I mean, just what be, can... well, let's just be clear. Let me Let me throw out some facts here. Uh, this is for a 100-ounce Englehart bar. Englehart is a refinery that no longer is in business, as far as I understand. Exactly. Um, so, so these are 100-ounce bricks, right? 100-ounce bars of silver. You're comparing the price uh, at the same time, right? Like, what, 4.30 Eastern time on Friday? And just to make sure everybody knows we're comparing apples to apples, you're comparing what it costs to buy one bar 
at basically the cash or ACH price. Is that, am I accurate when I say that, Chris? You're 100% accurate. And these numbers were taken at 530 on 12823. And what you're telling me is that between the highest, am I repeating myself? Susie calls me repeater Ron, but I think this bears repeating that from the highest price to the lowest price, $300. Chris, is it accurate when I say that a person could buy the same exact 100 ounce bar from Pimbex and with the money they save, they could get an additional 10 American Silver Eagles possibly, or, or UK Britannias, or Buffalo Rounds, or maybe even 11? Is that, am I accurate when I say that? Yeah, you probably, probably a little tough for the Eagles, but everything else, like the Cougarans, um, the Petunias, yeah, I would think Tim Max would be able to get you at least 10 for wow. the savings. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I really do. Just... It, blow, it blows me away. I know Pimbex, right? They're our sponsor. I've used Pimbex. I trust Pimbex. I always recommend people, if you're going to buy bullion online, throw them into the mix, do your own due diligence. But it blows me away that that um, that somebody could actually get the exact same thing and potentially 10 more ounces of silver. Even uh, a 10-ounce car run, even a 10-ounce Canadian Royal Mint bar, you probably could get from... Come back for that price. A lot, and yeah, you still yeah, have and, money left over. Well, right. And then based on all those um, Barbie pictures you were sending me earlier yeah, in the huh? week, they could get almost like, I guess, what's the math here? 15 extra Barbie, uh, the new Barbie doll. So that, yeah, I mean, I mean, who, who wouldn't want that? Right, Chris? Um, um, only you, my friend. Only you. Two, $220 silver. Boom. Right, Goldilocks. Let's talk about this, Chris. I want to, I want to, I want to get your opinion on this. But I consider to be the Goldilocks environment for silver as we move into next year. Okay. Um, number one, if we do have this soft landing in the economy, now I'm reading. You know, they're saying all the economy that will create uh, even more robust industrial demand for silver. Point number two. Okay. The underlying monetary madness, despite what goes on with this soft landing, blah, 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 the underlying monetary madness, the, the debt, the deficits, the printing, the reverse repo, the list goes on and on. That remains and that could, could, could help create more robust investor demand, which we touched on earlier in this in this video, it has been down. And that, you know, could could create a, a big stream of additional demand when people start to wake up to the monetary ma madness going on. And then on a bigger picture, this bifurcation, geopolitical turmoil going on in the world and the eastern countries continue to gobble up more and more gold, but also silver as well. And then I'm not done yet, Chris, then. On top of that, we've got new technology. When either you want to look at it from the solar perspective, demand for silver from solar, or what could likely be the big sleeper story of the year, hydrogen fuel cell. Toyota's coming out with, with new initiatives, almost seems like every week, new plants they're building over in Europe now for hydrogen, hydrogen fuel cells. And the newer hydrogen fuel cell technology is going to likely use more silver. It feels like we're set up for $220 silver in 2024. Absolutely, Ron. You know, this is why I keep, you know, silver is, is still on a bargain buy right now. Um, why wouldn't you want to stack every ounce you can at these prices? I, you know, you know, it's just, it's, you're not buying it. You're transferring your unicorn dust, dust, dollars into real money. And I think you meant to use the C word. What's the C word? Converting. Converting. That's what I said. Converting. I thought you said something else. Well, I maybe think. I did. I don't know. Yeah, transfer. You used the transfer. T word. Converting. Okay. okay. I used the T word. So, um, but you have to, I mean, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do, Ron. But um, what I'm doing is um, I'm converting. Um, every single dollar I can afford to into silver. And really, I've been putting in, you know, I've been, your other sponsor, First Mine Gold, we'll touch on them for a minute. You know, I try to make it as a bill every single month to buy a little bit of stock every single month. 
If yeah. you set up that way, you'll be fine. You don't have to put in a thousand dollars, you know, every single time. You know, get yourself a budget, throw your money into your account on the e trade or a mirror trade or whatever you want to do. And once that money gets built up, buy it all at once. Get it all at once. Yeah. And that's yep. what I've been I've been doing that every single month, Ron, and it's been working out for me. Okay. Yep. Yep. The old, the old budget, even a Barbie budget. And I won't say that oh. again. I'm done with that. And I think you may soon refer to me with the A word, right, Chris? Like, Ron, you're an A and then an H word after that, because I'm being a little feisty with you this morning. Let's <laughs> wrap it all up here. Now that we've determined that we have $220 silver in 2024 with what everybody's been waiting for, the coin shop, Chris, 30 day numbers. What do we have, Chris? Okay, silver. It's we're still up on fifty six cents over the last thirty days, or up two point four seven percent. Gold still up sixty three dollars, or up three point two two percent. Platinum did quite well, Ron. Um, Platinum's up over the last thirty days fifty dollars and twenty cents, or up five point seven six percent. Um, the unicorn front dust Bitcoin, or I like to call it rat poison Bitcoin. Um, it's up $9,043.67 or up 25.52%. I don't even like even saying those numbers, but that's what the numbers are. And oil is down $4.07 a barrel or down 5.40%. And I got one more little bonus, Ron. Silver to gold ratio this week is 86.53. No, still really high. And I mean, and, really and that, silver, that silver to gold ratio could at some point, and we, we talk about that with the viewers, um, could drop at some point down to like, I mean, you know, 30, 35, 40, maybe 20. And, and when it does, that might be a good time for silver stackers to consider converting, not transferring, but converting some of their silver into gold. Right, Chris? <laughs> you like to bust my chops, my friend. <laughs> but that's okay. We still love you, Ron. The viewers are great. I'm um, the A word. Uh, today I'm the A word. Every I want everybody to know I love Coin Shop Chris. I've had a habit my entire life of joking around too much with people that I really like. And uh so anything that I've said to him today was all a big uh, in, in fun and joking, except for anything that I said about Barbie. That's true. <laughs> Ron, you blew your Christmas present again. I'm not shipping your. I'm going to return them back to Walmart. That's it. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thank you for being here. Thanks. Let's thank our viewer, right? If they've stuck with us. Hey, uh, please, if you're still here, which we know you are, right? This real smart people are the ones who are still with us. Give us a thumbs up. That helps get the word out to more people. Go watch another video, some live stream recordings. We'll put a link up to that. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and by the way, I almost forgot the most important thing. If you want to help support Coin Shop Chris, because he does this out of the, he takes this abuse from the basement. Uh, luckily, he's a few hundred miles away, so I'm safe. But he does this uh, out of the kindness of his heart. If you want to help support Coin Shop Chris, um, uh, you can uh, check the link. I'll put a pinned comment with a link, the PayPal link, or it's in the description of this and every video we put out. Have a great day. Coin Shop Chris, we'll see you next week. Thank you, Ron. I just got one more thing to say. If, ever, if anybody can tap, if you're in here this long, leave in the comments, type 107 for me, please. Thank you. 107. I won't even ask. <laughs> Have a good day, buddy. See we'll you. see bye -bye. everybody soon. Thank you, guys. Thank you to the viewer for being here.